Okay, today we are going to measure the speed of um, an SD card, micro SD card. Uh, in order to do this, I need a reader. Let me insert my card in the reader. We notice I have USB 3. The blue indicates USB 3. I have the same on the computer. Mount the card. That is, we need to format this card first before we do this. You could do this on your camera or whatever device you use the card in. Uh, or you use this tool. Um, I can show you in the description of this video where to download this for free. Mac or PC. You can read on that website why you should use this tool or the camera or device you have to format the card. Let me do this quickly. It's a quick format here. Format complete. Done. Okay, a formatted card. Now we do the test, the software test, the system test. We're going to select the card. I use on purpose a small memory, a, a, a small amount of data we write to the card. Um, the card is selected here, okay, so we go 1080p. You can select other sizes of video frames you want to write to it. Let's do 1080p. And then let's start our test. We immediately see that uh, the device is blinking, so there is data going through. It doesn't show immediately in this tool, but it will write uh, or display the average write speed and the average read speed here when it's done. Since I have only 128 megabyte right now, it's a little faster for this video. We can see we write with 10 megabyte per second and we read with 35.8. We can graph this out in a little plot. And uh, in the PC version of this tool, the plotting doesn't work or they don't have that. We can go to text, copy the data points. Control, uh, Command C, okay. and we use a plotting tool. So I use what tool to plot this? I have a tool called Thunderplot. Where do I have it here? Thunderplot. That's a nice tool. Let's add to the editor those data points. There they are. Here's my past data. I have three columns, the number of measurements, and then here, read and write speed. Let's go to the plot area. We add those two plots, column one and column two would be plot one, and we plot the second data column, three, and then we show here view fit data to screen. And then we can see here are we are writing what speed? 10 megabyte per second is our goal to have a fast video. And this is our read speed here. So we have a good plot. Right, so this card will work pretty good. Now, you should try to uh, write more data to it, like 2 gigabytes or 4, and then you get more data points, and so your graph becomes more accurate. And you see if the card drops out after a while, if you write 4 gigabyte to it, after 3.5 gigabyte, if it is going too low in the capability to, to take data, then you would have a problem with your camera. So you want to keep it at a certain level. So I hope this video makes sense, and uh, good luck with using this tool. Let me know how it works out for you.